Good morning, and welcome to another Minority Counterpoint program. This is Gwen Blackburn, your hostess. My guest this morning is an author and has done some exploring on dark skin and the minority youth. His name is James Tarantin. I probably said it wrong, but he'll straighten it out. He has written a book uh, about this topic in his recent uh, writing of the equation. So he's going to talk to us about where he's been with this, what the equation is about, and what he has found about uh, youth in particular and the color of skin and how that all translates. So stay tuned, and we are going to now hear from... Uh, from James. So good morning and welcome to Minority Counterpoint, James. Good morning. How are you, Gwen? I'm I'm great. And how about you? I'm great. Good. Too. Now, now uh, as I understand it, you are an immigrant and I don't know where you're from and I don't know what was different in y- your country. So for me, the the thing is that you're right. I am an immigrant. I came. I'm an American citizen. I came here to America um, at the age of 20 from um, Jerusalem. But the main thing that I want to be able to speak with you today, if I may, is to really, you know, speaking about whether you are an immigrant or you are a minority or you are an, a young American citizen or you are an older gentleman. What happens today is people just you know, I believe the greatest epidemic is people just don't have the chance to accomplish their dreams. And, you know, when you grow up, we are being labeled by luck and IQ or the color of one's skin, and people tell us it's not possible. And it causes a certain environment where you, where you have a limited life. And I absolutely believe that whether you are an old, older gentleman or a younger or, as I said, immigrant or a minority, Everybody wants to have something more. They want to accomplish their dreams. And I really believe that based on my experience in life, being an immigrant, is that the book that I wrote, The Equation, have, will give them the ability to accomplish their dreams because it's more than just self-empowerment or explaining luck, but it's literally how can one transform their lives right now and design a new life for them and reaching to new heights. So for me... Um, you know, I believe that I can very much relate can relate to their struggle and be more than happy to speak with you about that. Like how can immigrants and minorities mm-hmm. can understand, okay, what is the problem I've got, if I've got any, why I can be successful, and, and how can I accomplish my dreams right now? So let me just ask you, uh, now, you came from Jerusalem, and what did you find different in America uh, where minorities are concerned than your country, where you well, I tell from. you, I think that it doesn't matter whether you are a minority in France or you are a minority in Australia or in America or in Jerusalem. I think that you know they all, to some degree, experience the same emotions and have the same aspirations. It might be just just a different color or a different label, but they all experience the the same the same thing and I think that the 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 main two problems and which is quite simple one is when you see a minority or an immigrant we automatically sometimes have labels and more often you know I believe that it it just takes greatness on one's part to see um, what happens in this guy or girls under the surface meaning not to judge them by who they are but see their greater potential and secondly, you know, again, if you look about life, many of the most successful people, billionaires or pop stars, were immigrants or minorities and came from very poor families. And even in Silicon Valley, you know, you have people there who had no experience, no school education, and were labeled with no IQ and succeeded to change, um, you know, the world. So I think it's not a matter of of that and it's a matter of, so these are the main two problems sometimes that people have and I believe that by changing it is about transformation is about getting and accomplishing your dreams so let me just ask you uh, because it, it it said something I read something where you said about uh, when did you find 
uh, children distinguishing between colors and dividing among themselves? Um, I felt I, I I experienced that when I was very young. You know, when I when I was very young, I had the, and I call it even an honor to experience that because I think it's a matter of perspective. One can look and experience that sort of a tragedy and say, oh, you know, I'm lu- I'm not lucky, and another person can look at it from another perspective and say, hey, you know what, now I can learn from it. I can expand on it. I can um, inspire others, millions around the world who experience the same but just don't know how to um, see the advantage of it. So, you know, for me, what I learned from, you know, when you experience at, at that at a very young age, I literally understood, you know what, if a minor- my minorities are very much like revolutionary inventions. So many people deny them. So many people say no to them, but more, more than often, the more people say no, the more you know you have something. You know, 20 companies rejected the photocopying machine, so it doesn't uh-huh. mean that the photocopying machine is bad, but it actually means it has something. And the same thing, I believe, applies to minorities and immigrants and young adults all across the world. Life is like a bicycle. The tougher it is, it means that you are, grow- that you are up. And also... And very much minorities and immigrants and, you know, again, young kids all around the world are very much alone. And when you are alone, you are an orphan. And most of the most successful billionaires and even pop stars in the world were orphans. Even in, in our pop culture history, you see Harry Potter, spider Red, super Red, even they were orphans in these, in these stories, you know. Mm-hmm. But it causes people to, be, to have more commitment and fear ceases to exist. You become more self-reliant. And also, minorities and immigrants are more sensitive sometimes. And, and they, they are, they, they are, they're becoming much more authentic and simple, and they know how to share love. So I believe that it just sometimes is even better to be a minority or to or be an immigrant because you get some qualities that maybe, maybe others choose not to acquire for whatever reason uh-huh. it might be. Uh, but, but you also said something about uh, the the young boys and girls falling between the cracks. No, I didn't. I, I no. Well, well, what I was trying to to say yeah. is is that um um you know is when pe- when um some immigrants or minorities or young adults or even people now who are older who experience that sort of tragedy before they don't fall between the the cracks. I just meant that they they I believe that. You know, the equation book will just give them the ability to see how the bad things that happen to them can transform them right now. Nobody, I believe, can fall between the cracks. It's a matter of a decision of a person. Oh, you think so? I, be- I-, I believe so, that, that people can, um, um, you know, have the ability to fundamentally transform and have the, the freedom to, to do that. Uh, of course, mm-hmm. that, you know, people experience certain tragedies with, within their lives by other people, but it's a matter of perspective, how you see it. You know, you cannot so much control what happens to you, you can more than often control your reaction to what happens to you. And yet your, your book actually uh, looks at the modern troubles that minority youth face, is that true? Yes, the book, through my experience, it takes that story that happens on four continents and has the most exotic adventures all across the world. And through that story where the hero is trying to um, discover an equation that will give people um, the, the runway to accomplish their dreams, through this exotic adventure, unexpected adventure, through that people experience, okay, what that hero had to go through in, in order to get there. So there you, you see the... Um, the black skin that the hero had, or you see the the wish for love that he's you know wanting to have this Romeo and Juliet relationship, and many other things that many people all over the world can relate to. And so, in your book, the equation is this the kind of uh, thing that you have uh, pointed out in the book? Absolutely, absolutely. But you, you don't. I believe that the beauty of the book, as we received from, I got letters from so many young adults around the world, who say that it's not that they love the book so desperately, and I do mean it when I say it because they say you don't actually put it in in bullet points. 
You put it as a story that just inspires me. It's a book that I can give on to my child. It's, it's something that, 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 that I see that I can give to a perfect stranger or people that I absolutely love. So it's not in bullet points, but in actual an, an inspiring story that spans across 58 years and tells a saga of changing times. And, and that's why I believe that people from all across the world in every walk of life in any age can and will relate to that story. And how, uh, th- now somehow, and I, I, I'd just like to have you quickly say uh, before we have to take our break, uh, somehow Larry King, they used to be on uh, television, was you, you were involved with him and in the writing of this? No, I, I, I was not involved with him on, on, on his TV at all. He just, you know, was um, my mentor and my fierce friend mm-hmm. and um, who, as I said, took me from the street and said, you know what, here's your, your, your dream, meaning mm-hmm. to open my company and to write the books and so on. And said, let me be there for you. So he gave me all his advice, um, gave me his love. I could go to his home whenever I wanted. Okay. He, he gave me here and there connections. It was like a father figure oh, okay. that I didn't have while you were all alone um, in one country. And I think that's something that many young adults relate right. to because they're so alone. Right. You know, right. Even, even if they leave from New York to Los Angeles or they yep. leave from Houston to Washington, uh, they're just alone and they have nobody there to assist them. They have sure. no one who can be there for them. So okay. When they hear that, that story, they just are inspired. Well, this is a good place for us to take a break, and we're going to come back. I want you to really get into talking more about the equation and what you hope uh, it will do and how people can get it. But for right now, we need to take a break. I need to tell our listeners that you are tuned to Minority Counterpoint, and we are talking about skin color uh and uh, all that good stuff with James Taranton. And we are going to take a break and come right back. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Minority Counterpoint. This morning, we are talking about colors between young people and why it makes a difference with them. We are talking with an author, James Taranton, uh, he has written a book uh, about it, and he has been sharing his thoughts with us, and he's going to tell us more about the book, where you can get his book, and what it will, in fact, uh, tell you or explain to you or all those good things. So welcome back, uh James, now uh, talk about the equation and what it is all about and uh, how does it focus on color changes or, or, or whatever? No problem. So first of all, I'll tell you how it came about so you will know. When I was 16, I had a personal tragedy, and I'm also coming from a minority, and you know where my aunt passed away. And I asked myself, there must be an equation that will give people the, the solution to accomplish, because I believe that if people accomplish, they have a better life. So I was 16 years old. I did deep research for six months, and at the turn of the millennium, after an exotic adventure to Rome, I saw the equation in a dream. I was 16. Mm. And then when I was 25, I said, you know what, okay, it's the time to handwrite the equation into, I believe, the first novel that will give people adventures beyond imagination and will show them through these adventures, whether you're an immigrant or minority or a young adult who likes MTV, to t- give them the, what it takes to accomplish their, their dreams. And for me, I'm always saying, you know, if you look at now, let's say, the, the biggest two challenges in the world, one is energy and one is education. But it's not just energy outside, it's also energy from within. And education is not just always going to school and, or getting a paying job, because sometimes it's about loving the job that you're having. You know, and if, it's not always about, you know, the unemployment rate, it's about the rate of people who love their job and right. 90% of people don't love their job. Exactly. They don't even love their job. So the question is that how do you give people energy from within so they can find, so they can transform and have the best job that they want. And that job is the, their, their runway to accomplish their true dreams. And that's exactly what the equation book is all about. And they, they can buy the equation book by James on Amazon or even go to my website, which is the-equation.com. 
And, and how they do that, meaning how they get energy from within, how they can say yes to happiness and yes to wealth, and then yes to transform and getting the dream that they want, is by understanding that if they have a tragedy, they can transform right now. And, you know, Steve Jobs used to say, being fired by a rifle was the best thing that ever happened to me. Hmm. And, you know, and, and, you know, there was, a, there was a, a, a black swimmer, his name was Cullen Jones, who at the age of five, he almost drowned and died at the pool. And now he became the biggest swimmer in the world almost, and he became an Olympic swimmer. Oh. So it shows you how somebody who's a swimmer like Colin Jones, who at the age of five was black and almost died from drowning, how that tragedy transformed him to become one of the fastest swimmers in, in the world. So that, that's the main message, that if you have a tragedy... You can transform right now. If you believe that you have pains, yeah. I believe that the equation book can give them a runway okay. to, to, to happiness, and it's their time to shine. Oh, okay. Now, let, let me ask you, James. Uh, you came to, did I understand that you immigrated to the United States alone with no family, alone. no money? Or You're right. How, how did you happen to do that? I, I, that's what I believe, you know, there's a line who says that, you know, once in your life, once in your life, you have to be able to um, reach for immortality, meaning once in your life, you have to do something that is, has moral courage, where you say, you know what, I, it's my time to go against the gods of risk, it's my time to um, be brave, to begin bold, it's my time to design destiny, dare and defy and say yes and break the chains of the past. And I believe that each person should have it at least once in their life. So I did that when I decided to leave my beloved family and come here all by myself in this American dream story and reach and touch and accomplish. And, uh, you know, so when you, when you transform from within, I believe fear ceases to exist. And you don't, let, and you don't live a limited life. You go beyond this box. And, and it says that, you studied five chief avenues, whatever that means. Meaning the idea that I studied, you know, several um, 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 topics that I believe will always be trending, especially to young people, meaning from how they take certain things and put that into practical application and things like aesthetics and, and, um, and fashion and um, things like um, enlightenment, meaning how can I have more emotional intelligence, how can I um, 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 uh, achieve my initiative, meaning how can I have gain wealth, and other avenues that I brought and infused into the great adventures in the equation book, so they can actually say, you know what, not, I'm, not, I'm not just reading a great story adventure like I can see in the movies, but at the same time, I'm getting life lessons that will just transform me and mm -hmm. whoever I love. And, and you have started a company? Is that, am I to understand that you started yes. a company? Yes. When I was, you know, 22, you know, I saw how many um, young adults and how many um, young people who want to have their own company, want to be the masters of their own fate, want to be able um, to reach higher and say, you know what, I want to be able to be uh, an inventor, I want to be able to be an artist, I want to be able to be a business guy, I want to be able to be an entrepreneur. And I said, you know what, I'm going to get this done. So, yeah, I opened a company, and that company, you know, created the, the equation, which is, again, literally what I believe will give people their ultimate runway to... Um, um, accomplish their dreams, and then that's so important for me because I believe the more people accomplish their dreams, the more people who are happy, the more all the challenges the world faces will just disappear. So let me let me just ask you how, other than the book, the equation, uh, I guess that it's it's a book. Is that correct? You're right. You're right. W what does your company do? So now for another, another example, because we, it's very important for us to um, speak to the hearts and, um, and to the adrenaline rush of these um, young people all over the world. So we now created a mobile game. So in seven days from now, um, it's going to be the first book in history, in modern time, that will also have a mobile game. And the mobile game is so cool. You know, you will have 
fantasy and different exotic worlds and people it's, it's a very simple control tap and tilt it's very much you know you are jumping from one platform to the next to save planet earth from robots so it's very much the same idea of the book meaning um, how you have to jump higher and higher in your life to save yourself and to transform higher from these robots called, you know, um, you know, all these labels or, um, you know, the, uh, you know, experiences and resumes that people put on you and just go higher and higher, jump and jump and jump until you reach the top and you cross your finish line. So it's going to be the first book in the world to have this fantasy mobile game that will just be absolutely amazing. The designs and the backgrounds and the worlds are just stunning in terms of brilliant um, HD designs. So when you say mobile, are you talking about, uh, because I'm not real bright when all this stuff is, you talk about all this stuff, so are you talking about like... uh, the cell phone kind of thing? Yes, exactly. So on the iPhone, so people can actually go and download a, um, um, a game from the iPhone. So first of all, they can go to Amazon, buy the book, The Equation, and by James, and then they can go and to the iPhone. And most Americans and people around the world have iPhone today. It takes a second to go to the App Store, download the mobile game, which is called also The Equation, and then see, wow, I can literally have for myself a pathway I can both play a game I can bo- and, and read a book at the same time that can give me the absolute ultimate equation how can I accomplish my dreams well it sounds kind of uh, <laughs> what I want to say kind of difficult for me to understand how all this happens but I think that people who are into uh, all of the mobile the iphone uh stuff and everything i'm i'm trying to learn these things uh Uh would know exactly what you're talking about and we have about two minutes and i'm not sure what else that you want to get across to our listeners and also i don't know if you go out anytime to speak to people or absolutely absolutely i'll be more than happy um You know, to, um, first of all, you know, me and my associates, which is the PMBC company, it's called PMBC, um, which is a company that also um, represents me. And, you know, we are now booking um, tours all across the country and all across the world to go and speak about it in different places and universities and beyond Baroque and, um, and TED to give this message all across the world. We believe we are the only ones today that really um, understood what is the, um, the core of why people don't reach and accomplish their dreams. And now we believe we have the products that, um, to explain that. And most importantly, we have the sheer passion to um, go and speak. So they can contact me through my website, which is the-equation.com. You know, the word the, then the symbol dash, and equation.com. Or they can contact PMBC, the company, which is a very nice, very nice people, PMBC, who, who will represent me. And, um, and they also can go on Amazon and buy the book. And um, I believe it will really change their, their, their life with all my heart and soul. I believe in it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, it, it, this has been very interesting, and I didn't understand it all, but I'm sure that a lot of my listeners who have a little bit of, I don't want to say scientific <laughs> understanding, but, but some of the understanding that I may not have uh, understands just... Why I believe you got everything there, there, that I said. I hope so. I, I was, Absolutely, I, I believe in it. I, I was trying. I was trying. I know that... Uh, oh, you got it. Yeah, I, be, I believe that you got the, the equation down completely. Well... <laughs> well I, can see by, I can see by the questions that, that you ask. Any, anybody would, would see that. Well, I hope so. And uh, I hope that you continue with what you are doing and the concerns that you have for, for people and, and helping people to be, maybe say better themselves somewhat. So, You're right. That's, uh, that, that's the main thing, is that the people 
will just transform. It's their time to shine. And uh, all that I want is for them to decide, to go and believe, to say yes to the moment and not to be boxed in a limited life, but to really expand. You live only once, and I want them to grab for greatness and to achieve their dreams. And I believe with all my heart and soul that the equation in my speaking circuits will give them this platform to have a better life. So before they die, they will smile and say, I achieved what I came here to do. That's wonderful. James, thanks so much for sharing with us, and I wish you continued success. Thank you so much, you Green. Have a great day. Yes, and you too. Goodbye. Uh, bye-bye. I invite you, as always, to write to me. Send me your comments and suggestions. Write to me, Gwen Blackburn, at clearchannel.com. Uh, and that is at 10 Cabot Road in Medford, 02155. Sweet 302. Or, you know, you can always get me at my, on, my, uh, on my Facebook at fan page, facebook.com slash minority counterpoint. Or join me on Twitter at Gwen Blackburn 5. And until next Sunday. Have a blessed week.